Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. The state of Oregon has a very geography. Its landforms vary from temperate rainforests to desert, mountains, beaches, volcanic rock formations. While the state of Oregon has a reputation for being a rainy place, that is just one part of its geography and climate. There is more to see here. The far west of Oregon consists of rocky coastline. There are beaches, there are inlets here as well. Most of its beaches are in the northern part of the coast because of the Columbia River. Sediments coming from the Columbia River emptying into the Pacific Ocean. The far south of Oregon's coast is a lot more mountainous due to the orographic lift. The coast ranges are part of western Oregon as well. There are temperate rainforests in this region. This is the wettest part of Oregon, the coast ranges. The Willamette Valley is located in between the coast range and the Cascade Mountains to the east. In the Willamette Valley is the Willamette River flowing through this area. 70% of Oregon's population lives in this area. Large proportion of fertile soil, you have a mild climate here. This has contributed to the growth in the Willamette River Valley. Oregon's capital city, Salem, and Oregon's largest population center, the Portland metropolitan area, are in the Willamette River Valley. The coast ranges create sort of a rain shadow. The Willamette Valley gets adequate rainfall, good for growing grapes, good for growing pears, but it's not as wet as it is further west towards the coast ranges. Southern Oregon, consists of the Klamath, the Klamath Mountains and the Cascade Mountains. And it's also home to the Rogue Valley where Medford, Oregon, Grants Pass, and Ashland, Oregon are located. The Rogue Valley is actually sunnier and warmer compared to much of Oregon west of the Cascade Mountains. The Cascade Mountains are like the spine of Oregon. They run the length of Oregon. Mount Hood, which is a volcano, is the highest point in Oregon. It's located in the Cascade Mountains. The southeast portion of the Cascade Mountains is where Crater Lake is located. This is the deepest lake in, or in Oregon and in the United States of America. The Cascade Mountains, they form a rain shadow. You know, when you have the mountains and you have the rains, they drop most of their precipitation on one side of the mountains and then on the other side of the mountains you have a drier region. The Cascade Mountains separate the wetter, greener parts of Oregon from the drier parts of Oregon in the east. The Columbia Plateau is located in north central Oregon. This is a semi arid region located east of the Cascade Mountains and along the Columbia River, for which it shares its name. The Columbia Plateau is a region where wheat thrives and it is a major crop grown in this area. Central Oregon consists of high desert and volcanic rock formations. It sits where the Blue Mountains, Columbia Plateau, and Great Basin meet. Because this was once a volcanic region, lava tubes, volcanic plugs, and volcanic rock formations are common here. This is a region of many caves as well. Southeast Oregon is the Oregon High Desert. It is part of the Great Basin. It is located south of the Blue Mountains and east of the Cascade Mountains. The Alvor Desert in the far southeast of the state is a dry lake bed. Annual rainfall in the Alvor Desert is less than 7 inches a year. Part of Nevada's Hawaii Desert is located in southeast Oregon. Southeast Oregon has a geography quite similar to the state of Nevada, being a desert. Northeast Oregon stands out from the rest of eastern Oregon while the valleys and areas at lower elevations tend to be semi-arid, the Blue Mountains and the Wallowa Mountains at higher elevations get more rainfall than anywhere else in eastern Oregon. There are also more forests in these areas. To understand the state of Oregon, one must understand its climate. One must understand the varied regions within the state. Places from the Willamette River Valley to the coast ranges, to the deserts of eastern Oregon. It is important to understand this to get a better idea of Oregon and its varied and diverse geography. I hope you like this video. I hope you are learning some things from this. If you like this video, 
Check out other vet videos on this channel. And as always, be sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.